In this video, I would like to talk about how to stay on slant. Whether you're practicing in grosser script, Spencerian, or modern calligraphy, I hope these tips will help you improve the quality and consistency of your script. To check the consistency of your slant, you can always draw in the slant lines after you have completed writing. When you draw in the slant lines, do not just draw in parallel lines and assume that you have done everything accurately. Instead, search for where your letter is leaning on. Ask yourself if the shape that you have created is leaning toward the direction that you want it to go in. For the letters L and T, for example, it's very easy to identify the slant because they are very long, straight, so it's easy to see that, okay, this is parallel to this, this is parallel to this. For letters like S, for example, what you're searching for is the oval that you have created by executing this letter. Where is the oval slanting on? That is a question you must ask yourself when you draw in the slant lines. One way to ensure consistency is to draw in the slant lines before you execute your script. Many people print their slant lines or have paper that is already lined. I strongly encourage beginners to draw their own slant. The reason for this is that no one is accustomed to writing on a 50 to 55 degree slant when they just start calligraphy. We're used to printing upright, most of us are. And it is crucial to get the arm memory to go consistently in the direction of your slant. There are many people who will ask, what is the right degree of slant to write on? Is it 50 for this or is it 55? Can I do this? Can I do that? My answer to all of those questions is pick a slant and stick to it. If you can pick a slant and stick to it, your letters will be consistent. Even in modern calligraphy, when often you're doing straight up 90 degree slants, when your letters are like this, you still want to stick to the slant you have chosen so your letters appear consistent. The final point I would like to make about staying on slant is when you have the slant lines, whether drawn in or printed out, when you're writing, consciously stick to it. A lot of people I see have the slant lines but are not using it. Make sure that the ovals that you are creating is leaning on the slant. The longer letters, for example, with upper and lower loops like L, G, H, make sure that the line is exactly what you decide your slant is going to be on. Those are the most obvious letters when you write them off slant. One way to practice staying on slant for these longer letters is to simply practice drawing the slant line on the slant. It's something you can do while doodling and keeping your hand in the slant that you choose. Some letters that people struggle with in engrosser script, for example, the letter J, Many beginners find it difficult to keep something this long on the slant. What that means is that you need to isolate your practice. If you're having a hard time keeping this on slant, then I would recommend doing exercises like so directly on the slant line you have drawn 
whether in pencil or in ink. If you find yourself having trouble with the longer letters in Spencerian, with the upper and lower loops, for example, draw in the slant line with the pencil. You can certainly practice this faster in rhythmic movement, but here I am demonstrating and would like to recommend a conscious, thoughtful practice of staying consistently on slant. I'm doing this with ink, but you don't have to do it in ink. You can do it in pencil. You can space it out. It doesn't matter. The idea is to get your hand moving in the right slant. Paying attention to your slant and making a conscious effort to improve the consistency of your slant will significantly improve the quality of your script, whether you're doing engrosser script, Spencerian, or modern calligraphy. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have found this helpful. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials.